What's up, YouTube? Um, thank you for uh, watching my video, uh, taking the time out of your day, um, watching some football games today, hopefully. Um, Penn State and USC is a really good game right now. Uh, but I wanted to get this video done, this haul that I've done, because I just want to, you know, clear it off my list and show you what I've got. Also wanted to um, update you where I am as far as my money situation, because I want to I want to try to keep you guys up to date and keep me up to date, so I know where I am. That way, it keeps me honest, and I can show you how this hobby can pay for itself. So I want to continue to do that. Hopefully, that is something informative for you guys <clears throat> so what I've done is I've started with a little sheet here I've got um, probably can't see that but I'm going to tell you so on the first day of, of the year at $1,800 because I sold a crap ton of books to go after my holy grail um, I spent $1,600 on comics so that uh, gets me down to $200 um, I'm sending some books off to get graded which is going to cost me 100 I sent some books out to get pressed, which is going to cost me 60 and I bought some bag and boards, which is 30 So that brings me down to $10 of play money, but I also had to pay eBay fees of $225 from all the crap I sold. So I'm in the hole $215 right now, oh, which is fine, because you're going to start out in the hole at the beginning of the year. Um, just got to start somewhere. To invest. Um, so, what I am going to do now is uh, the wife and the kids went to see Granddaddy today. So, I went a little bit comic book shopping. Uh, I went to my honey hole, my used bookstore, um, and I'll show you what I got there. Also, got some eBay um, finds, well, not finds, well, finds. And then I pre ordered some stuff that arrived um, a couple months ago that I pre ordered. So those came in, and I'll show you part of the $1,600 I spent, what that is. And I found a new comic book shop today um, that I haven't been to. It, I, I'll just get to that. <laughs> I'll let you know when that haul starts. But um, first I'm going to start with what I've got off eBay. Um, got a, oh shit, can you guys see that? Probably not, uh, let me see it. Uh, yeah, there we are. Uh, Vampirella Strikes. This is a Michael Turner cover. Uh, just a nice little cover there. Um, there is a Virgin variant that I want to get, but it's pretty pricey and it's it hardly ever comes up. But this is just going to stay in my personal collection. I'll let you know what I'm going to flip and what I'm going to keep. Um, keeping this. Also found. Also bought off eBay. Uh, uh, Witchblade uh, 25 uh, sketch cover by Turner. Uh, this is staying in my personal collection as well. I'm really getting into the Witchblade. Um, it's just they have some uh, badass covers, and I'm going to start reading them. I'm gonna, I've ordered the trade paperback, so I want to start reading it um, and see how it goes. Um, I pre ordered these uh, Delato covers from uh, Bulletproof Comics. Uh, the Dark Knight 3, Book 7, I got the uh, the three covers, the color, the black and white, and the virgin variant. Um, I just thought they were awesome. So yeah, there's a... That is what they're calling the color variant. Um, it's green. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I think they're calling this the black and white, but it's really purple. So I don't know, I don't know why they call it black and white, but I'm trying to get the lighting. Sorry, guys. So yeah, you can see the little purple there. Maybe, hang on just a second. Get some light over here too. That better? That better? There we go, that's better. I'll bring it back here. Um, and the one I really wanted was the Virgin variant. So you had to order all three to get the Virgin variant. So I really like the Virgin variants. Um, I think they're awesome. So I'm gonna go. I'm getting all three graded, and um, hopefully they'll all come back nine eights, and I'll sell the other two, and I'll keep this one. Um, also ordered the Del Auto Justice League versus Suicide Squad uh, variants. Um, I think they were from Bulletproof Comics too. So you got the black and white, but it's purple. 
Oh, sorry, I got two sets of those because I was going to flip them, but I think I'm going to send them all out to get graded and hopefully a set will come back 9 eighths and I can um, sell them that way. So there's the two black and white ones. Here's the two color ones. And here's the two virgin covers. It's awesome. That's awesome right there. I'm not going to show you the other one. It's the same one. So my first stop this morning was my uh, used bookstore. Um, and I have like $40 of credit there. I didn't find any comics, but I wasn't expecting to find any comics because I went there last... Thursday, so that's not enough time. Sorry, that's not enough time for them to resupply their um, their back issues because um, I'd already went through everything. Um, but anyways, I did find some Funko Pops, and I don't know anything about Funko Pops. I don't collect P Funko Pops, but I did see that these two were selling for about uh, fifteen to sixteen dollars a piece. So I'm going to try to bundle them for like 30 or best offer um, and see what happens. But I got them for, uh, let's see the first one. And that's another thing you guys can do. If you see some exclusive Funko Pops, always have your phone with you so you can look them up and you might be able to flip them to buy some comics, which is hopefully what I'm going to do. So I mean by first time selling Funko Pops. I got the uh, Venom. Walgreens exclusive. Uh, it was seven dollars. Uh, got the Punisher Walgreens exclusive, the Thunderbolts uh, costume. As you can see right there, the black suit Spider-Man would be awesome. Pretty cool. I do admit these are pretty cool, but I just can't get into pops and <laughs> comics. I would not have any money left. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try to flip these. If you want these, if you collect Funko Pops and you want these, hit me up. Um, I will sell them for... Just make me an offer and we'll see if we can work something out. Um, I'd, I'd like to sell them for... Off of eBay, I'd like to sell them... I could go to... I don't know, just hit me up. Let me know what you think is a good deal and we'll see if we can work something out if you collect Funko Pops. Um, so next, I uh, found a website, which I don't know why I haven't known about this website, but it's uh, mycomicshoplocator.com. So you go in there and you type your zip code. Sorry, my hair is a hot mess. I've been wearing a cap all day. I don't have much hair left anyways. But anyways, um, so yeah, comicshoplocator.com. Um, you type in your zip code and it shows you... Um, all the comic book stores near you so I saw one in there and I was like I don't know what that is so I looked it up and they said they have like 300,000 comics I'm like holy shit 300,000 that's a lot so I map quested it and it's about 40 minutes away from my house so I was like mm, it's kind of a drive but it better be worth it so Got in my car, went to first, went to my used bookstore, spent about 20 minutes there, which uh, that's about all I was like, planning on spending because I knew they didn't probably wouldn't have much. Got those two Focos left there, drove up there, and at first I didn't think they were open because it looked like the store was closed down. Um, walked up to the door and I'm like, hmm, there's no lights on. <laughs> I didn't see anybody in there and it looked disheveled I mean just total like crap like so I push on the door and it opened and then I walked in and I could hear somebody in the way back saying hello you know how are you doing can I help you with anything and I'm like uh where are you <laughs> is this god <laughs> um but and I was like no I'm just looking thank you and it's a hot mess in there there's crap everywhere. I mean, boxes of comics just shoved everywhere. Just loose. Uh, boxes on top of boxes. No rhyme or reason. 
They are alphabetized, but you have to move boxes off of boxes to dig through some shit. And I about I spent about an hour trying to go alphabetized, and then I was like, I'm never going to get through all of these. There's no way. I couldn't do this in two days. I bet they do have 300,000. It was crazy. Like, but no organization whatsoever. So it's it's very hard to rummage through. Um, so I found a couple in Amazing Spider-Man, and I was like, they didn't have price tag. Well, one of them had a price tag on it. The rest of them didn't. So I was like, what about the ones that don't have price tags on them? He's like, they're cover price, but everything in the store is half off. So I was like, half cover? And he's like, yeah. So, you know, if it doesn't have a price sticker, it's cover, and then it's half off. And if it does have a sticker, it's that, but then half off. And I'm like, so basically all your back issues are half off. And he's like, yes. And I'm like, all right, I like half off. Um, so yeah, this is what I got. Um, so whatever is showing on the sticker, if it's not showing on the sticker, then I paid half price for it. Well, I paid half price for it, but um, whatever the sticker says, I paid half of that. So we'll just start. I found uh, Thunderbolts, uh, the Venom variant by Jacques. Um, it has a sticker of $10. So I paid five for that. Um, this whole run today cost me $35, so pretty good. I can't believe this was in the back issue. Hulk 92, uh, first appearance of World War Hulk. Got this for half cover, so $1.50. That's pretty good. Found some uh, Delato covers for Ghost Rider, 13 and... 12, half cover. Um, found, I'm just reading this series, and if you guys are not reading this, I highly recommend it. Scarlet, I just got this to read, so I got this for uh, $2. It says $3.99, but I got it for 2 I found Amazing Spider-Man 529, first appearance of the Iron Spider suit for five dollars. Found five thirty for three dollars, and five thirty one for two dollars. Found Hulk fourteen variant. Um, I think this is the first appearance of Red She Hulk. It is four dollars. Found some awesome Adam Hughes covers. I've never seen these before. Uh, Rose and Thorn, number four. Look how sick that cover is. That's badass. Uh, half cover, so I paid. The hell's the price on this thing? A uh, dollar fifty. I would take that for a dollar fifty. That's issue four. They had the whole run. Um, except issue three, but these two were definitely the best covers. Um, just badass. Look how badass that is. That's a nice for $1.50. Found another copy of Detective Comics 850 for half cover, so $2. Take that. And I found a Greg Horn Baroness cover. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Look how bad that is. Um, so now I have a Greg Horn bear in his cover. I have a Art German bear in his cover. I have a J. Scott Campbell bear in his cover. Now I just need the Adam Hughes bear in his cover. And I will have all the kick ass bear in his covers. And for my final comic that I. Part of my $1,200 or $1,600 has been on comics. Um, I finally got one off my top 10. This is uh, number two off my list. Uh, top 17, sorry. I did 17. Uh, so this is number two. I bought this off a guy off Instagram. We were trying to work out a trade, but we could never could. But he said he would sell me the comic. Um, and I bought this for $500 shipped. And this is 
Legion of Superheroes number 23, the Adam Hughes cover, and it is signed by Adam Hughes, and a CGC 9.6. So, I think I paid a little under market. This book will probably fetch about $600 if I put it on eBay, so once I pay the eBay fees, yeah, I would net like 50 bucks. So, I'm okay with that. I mean, I just, I'm still ecstatic to have this book. This has been on my list for ever since I've seen the cover. And I should have got it when I first knew about it, because the prices weren't that bad. But now the prices on these are going crazy. So, anyways, uh, that's my haul. And I hope you guys are doing well. Um, tax season is going to be starting up, so I don't know when I'll be getting a new haul video up. But as soon as I can go hunting, I will go hunting. But... Um, I will try to make some videos, um, I don't know what, but I'll try to keep making videos because I like doing this. I hope you guys enjoy what I do, um, but anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great week, and hope you guys had a happy new year. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.